welcome again. No? So, ngayon, we'll be having our Ed Talks. Of course, from from our guest last time, we have guest na yung forte niya is more on water resources engineering. So, ngayon, punta naman tayo sa another field of civil engineering, which is the structural engineering. So, our guest for tonight is a civil engineer. No? Isa siyang graduate ng UE, a uh, UE warrior, my former professor, a structural engineer. He is a regular member of the ASEP, Association of Structural Engineers of the Philippines, life member of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, and also the, uh, one of the accredited safety evaluator of the ASEP dumper. He is a safety officer too. <laughs> So for our viewers, again, if you want to ask questions about structural engineering, sa mga, kasi may mga viewers din tayong hindi civil engineering line eh. So you can ask na, comment lang, masasagot yan ng ating guest. Napakagaling to. You want to be neurorized. <laughs> no? So ayan. Um, let us all welcome Engineer Neuro G. Periscal. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. So before we start, sir, uh, if plug mo muna yung ano mo, sir, yung YouTube channel. Uh, ayun, uh, nga pala, don't forget to subscribe ha. Meron akong YouTube channel. I just started netong March lang, uh, Neuroski Engineering Online. So yung main content niya, will cover up uh, primarily sa ngayon, uh, yung mga inaaral niyo sa uh, loob ng classroom in design courses like RCD, Core Structures, Foundation Engineering Design, so parang yung upload ko. And soon to consider still design, uh, peace rest, bridge, uh, even static sense rema, we will consider. And also, uh, hindi doon nalilimit yung content. I will also contain uh, engineering softwares using ETAB, SafeSAP, with some basic modeling, advanced modeling, and some design programming like uh, Excel and MATCAD. I'm, I'm on the ano, uh, preparation na rin ng MATLAB uh, review. Para kahit medyo ano, marami-rami ba that the, the, the channel content is just right for you. Yun ang aking main goal. So salamat sana ano, uh, mag-subscribe kayo. Neuroski Engineering Online. Ayun guys, don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel of our guest for tonight, no? Engineer Neuro Fiscal. So paki-subscribe, marami kayo matututunan doon. Very helpful siya. Uh, alam naman natin during my Uh, college days, kapag hindi natin naiintindihan yung lessons na nanonood tayo sa YouTube and pinapanood natin mga indyana, no? So, we have our own uh, uh, YouTuber, no? Which is very helpful sa lahat. Especially sa structural engineering. So, ayun guys, sa mga nanonood, kindly comment your your questions about structural engineering. So, so far, sir, before we start or mag-focus sa structural engineering, I just want to ask you, kunin ko yung opinion mo with regards to, siyempre, we have very experiencing pandemic ngayon eh, COVID-19. So, anong stand mo with regards to the, sa construction industry? Ano yung magiging uh, effect? Alam naman natin, malaking effect ng pandemic sa sa industry natin ngayon. So, ano yung magiging stand mo, sir, sa ganun? Actually, neto lang lately, ano, uh, kasi I have also construction projects right now. May mga naka-pending akong firma lately lang. I think you know, ini-introduce na rin ng City Hall ngayon as one of the requirement for construction. Just just this month lang. Uh, I think here in Malabon, I don't know in the other uh, localities, but I think ano yung standard ay saman ang, ang condition ng mga ano eh, ng requirements yan. So, hindi hinga na rin sila nung para sa methodology under COVID prevention. So siguro ang stand ko sa construction ngayon, uh, talagang ano eh, continuous pa rin talaga ang construction natin eh. Uh, yun nga lang, with the several additional guidelines so to promote health and safety. Dito, papasok yung mga safety officers na accredited na rin ng dole. So I think, uh, ano pa rin, ando pa rin tayo sa limelight ng construction age, yung build, build, build program. Yun nga lang, syempre, kailangan natin maging maingat sa panahon ngayon kasi medyo meron pang nakakalat na hindi nakikita ang kalaban. But still, life goes on. Just, sabi ko nga sa mga nagiging sudyante ko, lalo na sa online class, I'm handling online class in, 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 in. 
So, yes, for every yes. problem, there's always an equal opportunity. Yun lang naman eh. So, don't mind that problem. There's always an equal opportunity. Hindi na nakikita kong standpoint. Actually, sir. So, it is continuing pa rin yung Actually, standpoint. Actually, sir, ano eh. Naririnig ko, naalala ko nung during my students, eh, kasi ikaw yung prof pa ata is one subject, and you said na walang engineer kung walang problema. Yes, okay. Kaya masasolve yeah. natin yan eh. Correct. Lagi ko yung naalala eh. Correct. So anyway, so, ayun yung stand mister about sa pandemic. So marami naman sir nagtatanong, especially yung mga fresh grad, no? yeah. or la, uh, mga baguhan na, na engineers. Na civil engineers and na may gusto talaga sa structural alam naman natin na na manapakarami yung gusto maging structural engineer and marami rin nag-ask kung paano sila magiging member ng ASEP no, sir so you are a regular member of ASEP so ano yung can you give us uh, mga requirements ano yung dapat nilang gawin para ma-approve yung pagiging member nila ng ASEP kasi alam naman natin na hindi siya like pais na mabilis na magpa-member Okay. So, as an ASEP member, ano, uh, isa sa mga main requirement niya is a practice of structural engineering design. So, ikakaunt yung practice natin after you got your license. So, I think uh, the least uh, possible membership that you can obtain right now. Kasi before, meron tayong tinatawag na mas mababa sa associate member. Eh. So, ngayon kasi tinanggal yung lower than associate member. I think in the associate membership, it is required to have, I think you should have at least 30 CPD. Pag sabi mo CPD, kailangan umatin ka ng mga seminars. So, okay. yes, tapos I think uh, two to five years of experience in design. Depende kasi may i-accumulate kayo mga minimum points na dapat ma-qualify para okay. maging member. Tapos, uh, it is highly recommended na mag-aral kayo ng MS degree in structural engineering para at least maging ano, okay. profound dun sa konsepto ng design and as well as uh, submit yourself uh, in, the, ano, in the parang qualification of yourself that you want to serve your country and then be an asset member so those are the ano, requirements to become at least an associate member but that's, that, that does not limit you not only to get uh, an associate member, you can also get regular member, but of course, the requirement is higher. Mm-hmm. I suggest we start from associate member and then uh, eh, well, like, uh, exper- uh, lifelong experience naman ang design uh, experiences natin. So, after the associate member, you can upgrade into a regular member. That's what I have been. So, I, from associate member ako, and then after three years, uh, I upgrade into a regular member. So, I think last year lang kaka-regular ko lang. Yun. So, kasi, diba sir, uh, fulfilling, if you want to pursue talaga structural engineering, kung gusto mo talaga mag- mag-specialize ng structural engineer, you need to be part or member ng ASEP. And pagiging member naman ng ASEP is very fulfilling eh. Um, satisfied ka kapag naging member ka. Tama ba sir? Actually, ano, uh, that's true. Uh, becoming an, a member of ASEP is just like you're belonging to a roster of your own kind. But actually, uh, the practice of structural engineering does not limit as an ASEP member. Kasi meron din na mga practitioners tayo sa alabas na hindi pa so far member ng ASEP. And di ba kasi nag-escalate into yung recognition ng PAIS for uh, sexual specialists and meron din kasi si PRC na ilalunch na sariling sexual specialists. Uh, specialization. Uh. Yes, yeah, so... And some kasi... Ah, okay. Maliban. Yeah, yeah. So, mas maganda siyempre na ASEP member ka kasi kikilalaanin ka dahil yung, 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 uh, pa, yung ASEP is a uh, parang accredited siya ng, ano, ng PAIS para at least madali ka ma-recommend as a specialist. But again, uh, you can do the design as early as now actually. You, you, you can become a dual instruction engineer on your own. Be guided with the right principle. And if you, if you think that medyo wala ka pa sa eksperyensya but you want to try something new may meron naman tayong mga kasama diyan i-event including me that you can ask no by, by our experiences para at least mag-mold kayo into a uh, future structural engineer kasi ganyan din ako nagsimula noon as early as a college student na nagdi-design ako noon uh, that's that's a long story if i were to mention basta start as early as possible with the proper guidance of your ano of your possible ano uh, 
specialized people that you can ask. 